Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. favourite spot in the pasture under a cork tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, she would worry about him. Why don't you run and play with the other little balls and skip and butt your head, she would say. Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong and all the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture they would fight each other all day they would butt each other and stick each other with their horns and what they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight in the bullfights in Madrid Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly under the cork tree. And smell the flowers. One day, five men came in funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting, butting, leaping and jumping so that the men would think that they were very, very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care so he went out to his favourite cork tree to sit down He didn't look where he was sitting. And instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? Wow, did it hurt. 
Ferdinand jumped up with a snort and he ran around puffing, snorting, butting and, and pawing the ground as if he were mad. <laughs> saw him and they all shouted with joy. He was the largest and fiercest bull of all and he was just the one to fight the bullfights in Madrid. Wow, what a day it was. The flags were flying. were playing and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the ballroom. First came the bandoleros. Next came the matador. He was the proudest of all. And you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand went into the middle of the ball ring. And everyone thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies hair, he just sat down and smelled. And he wouldn't fight no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the Liros were angry. And the Picadores, they were angry. And the Matador was so angry that he couldn't show off. He cried. So they had to take Ferdinand home. sitting there still under his favourite cork tree smelling the flowers just quietly and he's very happy.